Hey, Chris here. Today I want to put the Patagonia Black Hole MLC 45 liter bag next to two other bags. The first bag I have is the Patagonia Black Hole 45 liter duffel, and the second bag I have is the eBags TLS Motherload Weekender Convertible Junior. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. My primary goal is to really just show some of the similarities and differences in the sizes of these bags. So if you do own one of the bags, again, it gives you an idea of how big or how small the other bags are. So I'll just start with the MLS 45 liter bag and the eBags TLS Motherload Weekender Junior. And again, this is the smaller version. They do make a larger version that to me would compete more directly with the 45 liter bag from Patagonia. But again, this is all I have, so just wanted to show this. And it is a bag that I really, really like. Um, and these bags in particular, even though the size is different, have a lot of similar features. So you'll see here, you can grab them both on the, the side or the top. So let's take a look at these side by side. And then, of course, the next bag I have is just the 45 liter black hole duffel. And I know there's, there's a lot of differences in these bags, but they both have that claimed 45 liter capacity. So definitely want to show these bags side by side. So next what I'll do is I will throw all three of these bags on my back. The first bag we'll look at is the Patagonia Black Hole MLC 45 liter bag. I do want to mention I'm approximately 5 foot 9, around 200 pounds. Next bag is the 45 liter black hole duffel from Patagonia. And we will finish with the e-bags. And the bags does come with a sternum strap. I've just lost half of mine. And I do want to give just some quick closing thoughts on these bags. When you're in the market for a new travel bag, I feel it's so important and helpful when you can see bags side by side. So if you're currently in the market for a new travel bag, highly recommend taking a closer look at all three of these bags. And if you're interested, I've actually uploaded videos that have taken a closer look at all three. So definitely check those videos out. Another thing I wanted to mention is that Patagonia has released new versions of both of these bags. So if you can find these discounted, 
excellent steal of a deal. Uh, but again, take a look at those newer bags and see if there's any features that you might like opposed to the older versions of the bag. And as far as the e-bags, the e-bags keeps on keeping on. So definitely like this bag, very durable, as is all three bags. So of course, if you have any questions, would love to hear those questions. As always, thank you so much for taking time to watch. Please like, subscribe, and leave those comments. Again, thank you so much.